In this video, we are going to discuss about the data types in Python and the first data type which we are going to discuss is numbers or numerical data types. So numerical data types hold numeric values and in numerical values there are four types or we can say subtypes there which are in Python and the following subtypes are firstly And the first subtype which is there in Python is integers. Secondly, we have float. Next, we have complex number. And lastly, we have boolean. We will discuss it one by one and execute a program also. So first comes is integers. Now integers as we all know are used to represent the whole number values. And how can we do that? We have seen in the variable declaration and initialization of values. We have to simply write x equals to 10 or we can write y equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and then if we want to check the type of the variable data type then we know that python provides us a function and the name of that function is type which we have also discussed in our previous video with the help of this type function we can see that this particular data or this particular variable is of which function or is of which data type and it will return the type of the mentioned variable data type second we have float and we know that float is used to represent the decimal point values So the decimal point values are represented with the help of float and what we are going to do is similarly we are going to execute for 10.25 let's say in x and in y we are going to execute 75.67 and then also with the help of this type function we are going to print that this data type or this particular variable is of which data type. Next we have is complex number. So complex number we know that it is in the form which represent a real value and imaginary values are denoted with j that is the end of the number so it is for representation of imaginary values complex number are used to represent imaginary values and imaginary value portion will be denoted with j at the end of the number so let's say if we are initializing here as 15 plus 4j that means this is the imaginary part so when i execute print type x then it will return me that it is of complex type lastly we have boolean so boolean is used for categorical output since the output of boolean either it can be true or it can be false so let's say if we have written a program like this that num is equal to 5 greater than 4. This particular thing is going to be checked. Firstly, we want to print the type of num. And then we are going to see the output also. That display as the output also that it is true or false. Then simply we can write print num. So you can see it's very easy to code in Python and it is very much simpler. That's why it is such a popular programming language. So let us execute this code and see how can we fetch the data types of the following variables. So here you can see that firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize a variable a and there I'm going to give the value as 10. Next I want to initialize a variable b and I'm giving the value as 20.36. Next. I will initialize a value x and there I will give the imaginary part so that we can see the complex uh, data type of in numerical of python. So let us give 10 plus 9 j and lastly I am going to do for boolean also. So what we have done we have checked with the help of num that if num is equals to 89 greater than 56. So this is all we have done and next we are going to print the type. So let us firstly print the type of a for that we use the type function and firstly we want to print the type of a next i want to print the type of b print the type of x also and print 
the type of num of this variable first. So as I execute this particular code, you can see that firstly the type is printed here that you can see the class is int of a because it is having an integer type value a whole number next it is having decimal point value so it is float x is complex because it is having an imaginary part also that is 9j so that is complex and bool is symbolizing the boolean that is of boolean data type and how can we further do the comparison and return that the print num exactly so let us write here only Here you can see when I run this particular code again this much portion is explained to you I have already explained here it returns true that yes 89 is greater than 56. So this sums up to the numerical data type which are there in python or we can say the numbers which are there in python that is integer float complex number and boolean. Next data type we will discuss in upcoming video.